Hey guys. Hi there. Did you do your push-ups? Oh. I hope you did. I hope you did. Now, Miss Anika gave you some clues with Wesley this morning. I gave you some riddles. And the first riddle, Wesley's riddle was, what's the hardest key to turn? And the hint was that it's an animal. And then Miss Anika's clue was, and they're two different things. Wesley's was, what's the hardest two riddles? key? Two different riddles. Okay. Miss Anika's was, there's, what's the hard, no. Wesley's was, what's, what's the, the hardest, hardest key, key to, to turn. turn? And then Miss Anika's was, I can be blown, but I'm not a bubble. I drop, but I'm not a tear. I come in different shapes, but I'm not a snowflake. I come in different colors, but I'm not a cell phone. I come from a tree but I'm not an apple. Or an android? Hmm. And then there were a couple of verses that we could read. Do you want to read the verses? I'd be happy to. They were... The ones from Matthew? Yeah, Matthew 21, 2 and 3, and Matthew 21, 6 and 8. All right. 6 through 8. Can I borrow your glasses, please? Yeah. Thank you. So Matthew 21, verses 2 and 3, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, this was Jesus talking, and straightway ye shall find an ass tied, and a colt with her, loose them, and bring them unto me. And if any man say aught unto you, that means say anything unto you, ye shall say, The Lord hath need of them, and straightway he will send them. And then verses 6 through 8, and the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them, and brought the ass and the colt, and put on them their clothes, and they set him thereon. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees, and strawed them in the way. Those are the verses, Matthew 21, verses 2 and 3. And six through eight. And we're supposed to have been able to figure out what the clues were from that? Mm -hmm. uh, I got some good ideas. Can I guess? You can guess. Hmm. Well, is the What's the hardest key to turn? I've never, ever turned a monkey. No, not a monkey. That's a good one, though. <laughs> um, well, it talked about an ass, but they're also called a donkey. Yeah, a donkey. A donkey. So Wesley's was a donkey. You probably guessed it. I bet you did. And then the second clue, or the second riddle, Miss Anika's riddle, what was she talking about? You can be blown, but you're not a bubble. You can drop, but you're hair? not a tear. No, nope. drop, but you're not a tear. You I come some people from, let their hair down. I drop hair everywhere, but it's not hair. Um, I come in different shapes, but I'm not a snowflake. I come in different colors, but I'm not a cell phone. I come from a tree, oh. but I'm not an apple. Our verse gave us clues. Branches? Branches, leaves. Leaves. A leaf. Yeah, leaves. leaves. So they cut down palm leaves mm -hmm. and put in front of the donkey. And those are our answers for our first two riddles. Anika's going to have more yeah. and more. And more. One of the interesting things about this story that Miss Anika was telling you is she talked about um, the red carpet and how in our day when fancy people come or dignitaries or um, royalty or rulers, we roll out or a red carpet. Rich people. Or rich people. We roll out a red carpet. I had an interesting story. I had an old airplane, and I think it was uh, built in 1954 or somewhere in there. So it was it really was old. Even older than him. Even older than me. But I sold that airplane to a guy down in Louisiana. And as I flew down south, they still have this tradition of at an airport. Uh, when you fly in in an airplane, most of the people who flew in were flying in in like a private jet or a really fancy airplane. 
Well, I came in in this ratty old airplane and my friend Dallas Morissette and me, we got there and this guy came out with this fancy golf cart and had a canopy over it. The golf cart probably cost more than the airplane. Well, maybe, but he quite literally, the first time it happened, I burst out laughing. He quite literally had this uh, red carpet rolled up with a rope through the middle of it and he put it down right underneath right underneath our door and rolled it out to right where his golf cart was so we would not have to step on the pavement. And we had that experience, I think two or three more times down south. But that was quite a, quite a funny experience for us because we were anything but royalty or rich. Just regular guys. In an old airplane. But we got real, we got the red carpet treatment. But the people knew that Jesus wasn't a regular guy and they felt that he was going to be their king and they were excited that he was there and they wanted to show him honor so they put him up on this donkey and they put a coat over the donkey and gave him a place to ride because during those days people walked everywhere right and so he was going to ride on this donkey into town so it was a big parade and uh one of the one of the traditions back in the day uh, the Romans, when they would win a battle, the, um, the general or the heroes of the, the battle would ride in town on a donkey or on a horse, and, um, and then all of their captives would be behind them, um, usually chained together or something you know, along that line. But Jesus had willing captives, if you want to call it, and they threw a great big parade for him, a big parade. And the people had stuff that they needed to be freed from. They were living a hard life. They were. Most of them were slaves of and, some form or another. Well, they knew that Jesus was going to free them, but they didn't understand the way that Jesus was going to free them. True. And that was pretty, a pretty different picture than what they had in their mind. But just like those people long ago during Jesus' time, we also would like to be free, right? There are things that we experience in this life that we would like to be free from. Yep. Sickness, we're yep. doing, dealing with a sickness right now that's going around and just job right. loss and people die and it's just a very, there are things that we prefer to be free from and you know what? There are some things that we do that we need to be free from that are inside our hearts too. Yeah, yeah. Things that, chains that we have that we would like to be broken. Yeah. Chains are generally symbolic of like bad habits or things that we can't get away from. So, this is a song about breaking out of chains. If you've People been walking down the same old road for miles and miles
chain breaker. Have you ever had chains broken? Mm-hmm. Yeah? I have. I have. And I thank God. Yeah, me too. Me too. We don't have to be stuck. No, no. God can change us. He can. Oh boy, we're dinging. All kinds of stuff is happening. All right. We should pray. We need to pray. Is there anything um, that we need to talk about after a prayer? Like, what's happening next? Well... Or can we talk about that after a prayer or yeah, before a prayer? we'll talk okay. about it after. Our Father in Heaven, thank you for this day. And I thank you for these beautiful children, our friends. And Lord, I ask that you will help us as we come across these chains that bind us. We know we can't break them. But we pray to you, Lord, that you'll free us. Sometimes freedom doesn't look like what we're looking for, just like with Jesus. But we want to honor Jesus with our voices, like those old-time people did, too, in the way that they knew best. They cut down branches, they put Jesus on a donkey, and they sang hallelujah to him and gave their best praise to him not knowing how he was going to free them, but knowing that he was. And so we give you our lives, Lord, and ask that you will free us from our chains too. We pray this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Well, you can expect to have another riddle tomorrow, and then we will come with, an, with the revelation of the riddles in the afternoon. Okay. We're going to do that for the next 12 days. And the other thing I want to tell you is this Sabbath, there will be Sabbath school for you guys. We're doing a Sabbath school program for you. So that will be a lot of fun too. And I look forward to it. Don't be afraid to send us pictures or send us a video of you singing some of our songs or whatever. Because we'd love to see your little faces. Oh, yes. And you can text them to us at the numbers that we gave you earlier. And Sounds like somebody's already texting me. Oh, boy. Anywho, love you guys. Oh, I can't turn it off here. I'll have to turn it off up there. Okay, bye. bye. See you tomorrow.